Hello, gentle viewers. This is Vindian, welcoming you to a Game of Thrones the board game digital edition. This is based on the book series more than the than the TV show, um, and it takes place right after the death of Robert Baratheon and the different houses' attempts to uh, take over and become the king of the Iron Throne. We're going to go ahead and play a skirmish today. And we're going to play, uh, I'm going to pick a random a house. And we're going to play against five medium opponents. And I will explain the game as we play, don't you worry. Starks, Greyjoys. Oh, I'm the Lannisters. Okay. Interesting. Uh, right. Okay, thank you for this wonderful news. Now, please stop. Uh, let's talk about the game and how it works. Uh, we are one of the six houses, and we are competing for uh, the right to claim the Iron Throne and win the game. Uh, along the way, we must compete with our rivals, including House Stark, House Greyjoy, House Baratheon, uh, House Tyrell, and Dorne. Uh, house Martell. I can never remember the name of the house, but that's the name of the house. And we lead our forces to take various points and become much stronger as a result. That's at least our plan. Uh, and we do this through a very cunning system of people using um, hidden orders that we all reveal at the same time, uh, which is really great. In order to win the game, you must take seven castles. Some castles are worth one, some are worth two. Like, for example, Winterfell is worth two, whereas, on the other hand, uh, Moat Kaelin is only worth one. If you ever have seven victory points, you win the game. Otherwise, the game ends when you get to the end of turn ten. There's a lot going on in this game, um, which is one of the reasons I like it quite a lot. And I think it will probably be easiest to play if I just show you what's going on. That's my thought. I don't know that it's going to work out, but let me quickly explain what you're looking at, and then we'll go from there. So every territory in the game has uh, one of multiple advantages to it. So then we have these barrels, and barrels lead your supply, and if we click on this, you can see how it affects how large your armies can be. Uh, so in this case, we can have one army of three units and two armies of two units. There are crowns, which are used for power, and power can be used to protect an area even if you abandon it. Power can be used to bid on the three different influence tracks, and power can be used to fight wildlife. All of which uh, have different effects as the game continues. And then there are castles. Uh, castles are not only worth victory points, they are also worth... Um, they are also a place to muster and raise additional forces. So that is what we are up against. Now, I will explain the different... Well, actually, let's take a look at our different provinces. So each province gets one order. So we click on Stony Sept, I have a choice between five different orders. First is Consolidate, this lets you raise new forces or just gain some power. There's Raid, which cancels another person's order. There's Move, which lets you move. There's Defend, which lets you defend. And then there's Support, which lets you add strength to an adjacent area. Uh, these stars are extra powerful versions of the same order. So, for instance, I can raid to remove defense as one possibility. Uh, we are not in the greatest of positions. We have a lot of territory we can expand to, but it's also very difficult to defend. Um, I would very much like to take two territories this turn, so I think that's what we're going to do. Um, there's nobody directly near us that can interfere with our initial moves. So we're going to go ahead and take a march order 
Oh, uh, no, sorry, not the March order there. This should be a regular March order. This will be a minus one March order. Uh, the ship is going to get a move order. I'd like to go into the Sunset Sea. And this will uh, help us out in support. It doesn't actually matter what they do. I can't raid because there's nothing. In oh, no, actually, I could raid. Yeah, let's raid. And then we can remove some things there if we need to. Uh, so we're going to be fairly aggressive this first turn. Um, I want to take Heron Hall for the power and the castle. And I want to take River Run. Uh, for the supply and power. It's a pretty standard opening move for the Lannisters. We could also move into Blackwater, but it only offers supply, and we're actually in pretty good shape there. Same for the Sea Road Marches. Um, I am not overly concerned about that at all. Blackwater would give us an opportunity to move into King's Landing, uh, which is worth quite a lot, as you can see here. It is a, a two-victory point. No, sorry, it's a one-victory point castle. Um, I think the only two victory point castles are the actual capitals. Yeah, like for instance, um, oh no, I guess it is only one VP. Although there were castles that provided two VP, maybe it just actually offers a higher mustering value. Anyway, um, now the other part of this game I haven't talked about yet is that you can make non aggression packs with other powers, and we'll probably want to do that. Here is my thought, and maybe my thought is stupid, and we'll have to see how it plays out. My thought is the Greyjoys will end up fighting the Starks, and that's generally a pretty safe bet. If that's what happens, I am more than content to let them do their thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get involved. Then the question becomes: Do the Baratheons and Tyrells hammer each other, or do they both come after me? If they both come after me, I'm going to have to make some sort of pact with one of them. And there's always Dorn, uh, House Martell, which has a few easy-to-take places, but not as many as others. So that can also be an issue. We're going to confirm our orders. And now all of the orders on the board are revealed. Okay, because I have the Messenger Raven, uh, I can replace one of my orders, which I actually don't mind doing. Which I, normally I wouldn't mind doing, because I don't think I can stop them. I could stop you from raiding. Or I could look at the top card in the Wildling deck, and I kind of would like to know that. Okay. Okay. So this is a skin changer scout. Uh, if we win, whoever bid the most gets their power back. We can leave that on the top. So the turn order comes from the Iron Throne. So the Baratheons would go first in the raiding phase, but it looks like the Baratheons didn't decide to raid. Uh, they're gonna move, they're gonna move, they're gonna consolidate or muster. Uh, that's all they're doing. So I'm the first person to have a raid. I'm gonna click here. And I can't I can't clear that one, that's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just remove this raid order. Then moves. Okay, so the Baratheons moved into the reach. Uh, I'm gonna take my footman I'm going to tell him to go to River Run. And that's all I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to push it with that one. The Starks get aggressive moving into Mo Moat Kalen. Martell takes Starfall and they spend a power to keep Salt Shore. The Greyjoys Attack River Run. I did not see this coming. Okay. Uh, so, now here's the really bad part. Greyjoy has the Valyrian Sword. 
which means they get a plus one to combat, so I need to beat them by quite a lot. Um, I could do this by playing Tywin Lancer, which would give me a five, but they have their own cards. Specifically, Euron Greyjoy. Or, sorry, Euron Crow's Eye. And if he plays that card, he wins. I actually don't mind that. If he plays it just to take River Run, that leaves me in a really powerful... Uh, or... I'm not attacking. Uh, Tyrion Lannister wouldn't help much. I kind of want to play Tywin Lannister. Because if I win this fight, I keep River Run. And I don't think he's got any support. So let's do it. Let's play Tywin Lannister. They played Euron Crow's Eye and they win the battle anyway. And they kill my footman because of this sword. That was probably a likely outcome. I assumed they would go after the Starks and not after me. They take River Run. Uh, it is what it is. Here's Baratheon and Tyrell fighting against each other. Uh, Tyrell wins. And you move your fleet into the Narrow Sea. Alright. Well, this is not ideal. Um, I was really hoping that I would get River Run. And here's the biggest issue. I'm not likely to win, even if I fight again at River Run, because of their stupid Valyrian sword. I could go to Harrenhal. Uh, and then spend a power to keep Stony Sept. But I didn't muster this turn. And this leaves us in a pretty weak position. Um, and I probably should have seen it coming, but I didn't. So that's shame on me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Harrenhal. And then I hit confirm. And I would like to spend one power so I can keep Stony Sept. Uh, Tyrell and Baratheon are going to fight in the Bone Way. Tyrell wins. But you force her to discard Marjorie Tyrell. And then the last thing I get to do is I get to move my fleet. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to move it out into the Golden Sound. And there go the Sea Road Marches. Here's some mustering happening. All right. So every turn we get three cards. And each card tells us what we get to do that turn. So here we go. We get to recruit new units. And we definitely want to do that without question. Uh, Heron Hall, I would like another footman, please. Lannisport, uh, I get two points here. Now, if I wanted to make a really ballsy play, I would try to take River Run, but I think it's more important that we reclaim Stony Sept, um, which would then give us a much stronger base. I'd also really like to go into uh, take Cracklaw Point if we can. And I can, plus I can use my ships to help support an attack on River Run, um, if that's what I decide is the best choice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick two footmen. Because I just want warm bodies right now. Okay, now we get to bid on the three influence tracks. Now this tells us how much power everyone else has. 
And whoever wins this gets the Iron Throne, and the Iron Throne settles all ties outside of combat, and also determines the turn order. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bid two power. I'd like to get, I would like to get a decent position here, and then a decent position on the messenger track. Uh, the Greyjoys bid the crap out of me for it, so I finished second. But they spent all their power to do it. Um, I'm going to bid zero power here. I don't care about the Valyrian sword as much as I care about making sure I have my special borders. Uh, Stark won. Good for them. And then I will go ahead and bid uh, one. No, I have to bid at least two. And weirdly, uh, the Greyjoys actually let me win that tie. And then finally, the person who holds... Okay, Tyrell and Martell just made a pact. Greyjoy and Baratheon just made a pact. Oh dear. So they can either stop defenses, stop marches, or no restrictions, and they say no plus one marches. Okay. We're going to want to make a pact as soon as we can. Um, these all look like they're, they're destined against me. Okay, I would like an I would like an alliance, please. But who do I want one against? Probably either the Baratheons or Tyrell. Here's the thing. If we can... Well, the thing is, Tyrell and Baratheon made a pact. Which is really bad for us. Because if we look at the map... Uh, can I look at the map, please? Let's see if we show you, show you the map here. This means they're not going to fight each other. No, alliances are really not aggression packs in this game. And either that means they're both going to jump on Dorne, which is possible but unlikely... Or this is a way to come after me. Uh, and I don't like either of those options, to be perfectly blunt with you. I think those are both bad scenarios for us. I can't have a pack with the Greyjoys. I need to at least push them out of River Run before I even consider that. Um, so the question becomes, who would be the better ally to have? Would it be the Baratheons or the Tyrells? And it's honestly probably going to be the Baratheons, so we're going to try it. Okay. And I would not reject one from someone else, but I think that's fine for now. All right, so we need to place our orders. Um... The ships are going to support this turn. Um, I kind of want to overrun them and kick them out of River Run. So I think I'll do... No, no, no. Uh, I don't want to move units. I want to change this to a support. And then change you to an attack. And I think that works for me. What this means basically is I'll be able to focus heavily on River Run. Especially if you end up fighting the Starks. And if it turns out that's not what happens. Um, I can then use a move order to move into Stony Sept. And start turning my attention to the south. So I'm going to confirm those orders.
Okay, they didn't have anyone that they wanted to raid. And there was no one they could legally raid. Oh, you're attacking me in Heron Hall. Um... Fucking Greyjoys. They're gonna play Theon Greyjoy. And I can't top that? So I could use Tyrion Lannister and hope that this forces them to pick something else. I'm gonna try it. Um, if I'm not being supported, this card gets two casualties and one defense. But casualties only matter if you win, so I'm going to go ahead and say no. Alright. Um... I'm gonna move with my. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna move my knight. I'm gonna move my footman. I'm gonna leave one behind. And I get three support. And two support. They only get one. Um. I am going to play Cersei Lannister so that I can remove one of their orders. I mean, thanks for wasting Balon Greyjoy. And then I'm going to remove your muster. That'll hopefully punish you and teach you not to touch my crap. Oh, the Brathians did take Crackclaw Point and Storm's End. I'm not hugely shocked. Oh, they're moving it hard against Starks. Now that's interesting. That was a good use of Eddard Stark, by the way. That's a dead troop for them. Alright, we adjust our supply track. We'll actually get we'll actually be better as a result. This icon here, by the way, increases the uh, the threat of wildlings. If they hit 12, they attack. We get to bid again. Oh, this is actually bad for us because we don't have any power. Greyjoy won the Iron Throne. Tyrell won combat. And Stark won that. And so this was actually a terrible time for us, but that's okay. We can't do any raid orders because of Sea of Storms. All right. Now, here is our biggest issue right now. Uh... By them taking Cracklaw Point, I can't get into the Mountains of the Moon or even attack the Eyrie. Um, so I think the thing we need to do more than anything, we need to start getting power, we need to start mustering. Um, and I think we need to go to Blackwater, which gives us at least a couple of options. So I'm going to do... Uh, this is going to be a move order. 
this is going to be a plus one move order. Um, this is going to be support. Lannis port. No, 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 no. I can't muster if I use a plus one attack order here. Machine used to a minus one. And then I can muster here. That looks good. All right. We have one issue, which is that Tyrell, I think, is coming for me. So here is our big issue here. Oh no, they don't have the sword. Has Greyjoy used... Okay, so you've used all of Victor... Except for Victorian Greyjoy. I'm going to lose this battle if they play Victorian. I'm going to play the Hound. Let's reduce casualties. Oh, I actually won because you played Aaron Damper. That was pretty stupid. And they lost the Siege Engine, I think. All right. Um, you move to Blackwater, please. And that's all you're going to do. Well done. They have defeated the Greyjoys. They're getting pushed back pretty hard. Uh, now, as for you, you could go for something really, really bold, but I think it would be a very stupid move. The position doesn't have any power, so I couldn't even hold on to it even if I wanted to. Um, I am going to move this footman down to Stony Sept. There we go. Now, we are spread very thin, uh, which is one of the weaknesses of my position, and it's because I keep getting attacked by the Greyjoys. Um, you know, I could see if the Greyjoys would be willing to sign a truce so that I can focus my entire attention on House Tyrell. Let's try. Oh, here we go. Stark wants an alliance. I accept. Uh, now I want to see if Greyjoy will take an alliance with me. Okay, perfect. Um... This now means that I'm worried about defending River Run as heavily, which means uh, do I want to muster or consolidate power? I really do want some power, but I think I do have to muster. Give me a footman, and then give me a knight. I could have a massive army, I just haven't been able to muster. And I still have no power, so I still can't bid. That's bad. Uh, Tyrell's a little bit tougher than we are now. We really need power, but on the other hand, we might get some from the Wildlings, maybe? Oh, we can't do plus one marches. 
And the wildlings are getting even stronger. All right. This would be a great turn to consolidate. All right, so I'm gonna have you do a support order. I'm gonna have you do a defend order because that's what I think is most likely. I'm pretty sure that you're gonna come for me. Uh, consolidate. Consolidate. Uh, support and defend. Because we need power. I'm tired of being left out of that loop there. And if we could just build up a little bit this turn, I can then use my new found abilities to heart them more in the future. I mean, I could attack them at the Sea Road Marches, but especially when they've got the Valyrian Blade, I don't like my chances there. We're going to be conservative this turn. We're just going to consolidate our position. Damn it, you got rid of my support order. That wasn't very nice. Martell coming after Baratheon. That's a pretty brutal combat. I like it. Oh, Baratheon Stark at White Harbor. Caitlin Stark doubles defense orders, snatching defeat for a victory from the jaws of defeat. Which means they have to go back home. They chose to muster. All right, I get to muster this term, which is great news for me. All right, uh, let's start with Heron Hall. I would like to upgrade you to a knight. Let's go to River Run. I would like to have a ship. And a footman. Lannisport, I want a siege engine. I want to be able to attack, move, start toward, start moving towards attacking High Garden. And a siege engine is exactly what we need to accomplish that. Uh, what is the Messenger Raven person going to do? He picked nothing. We can't use defense orders. All right. Now, since I can't use defense orders, I have an interesting problem in that Blackwater is now extremely vulnerable. So I'm going to set a regular old move order for you. Oh, uh, you're going to set a support order. Heron Hall, go ahead and consolidate.
a minus one move order here and a support order here and here I guess just consolidate because I don't have anything else I can do with you I really need to get move it up on the messenger track so I can get some special orders but that's fine um, I should be able to easily take the sea road marches and then that'll put me in a position to eventually hit high garden um, depending on what they do this turn they're coming after Blackwater. I can't say I didn't see it coming. <clears throat> and you got rid of my support order, which just makes Blackwater even weaker. Oh, someone is offering me a secret pact. No, they're not. Oh, well. All right. So Hi Martell is fighting Tyrell. Oh, Martell betrayed them. Oh, that is very spicy. And that changes everything. Um, I'm going to make the boring move first. I'm going to tell you to go here. And I will... Oh, I don't have to spend another power unless someone else takes it. Uh, this is 2v2. Who do you have left, uh, House Tyrell? You have two twos and a zero, so if I play my three, I win. Um, they can give themselves a plus one, is the issue. But I think I have to accept that. I have to accept that at the very least, I'll make them waste their ability. And then they got the tiebreaker because they're higher on the... Because uh, Dorn gave it to them, maybe? That's awful. Uh, that definitely changes my plans pretty significantly. I can't afford to lose... Um, I mean, I don't really care about losing Blackwater. I have plenty of people. So maybe actually my best solution is to come after the Sea Road Marches... So that I can, although, I have to, because then I can attack the Reach, which is what I actually want. So that's what I'll do. And though I can only ever use that once, and I'm going to leave my Knight behind. Oh, the Siege Engine doesn't count because I don't have a castle. That's right. There we go. How the crap do you keep getting the Fiefdom Tiebreaker? And I lose my Siege Engine for nothing. I'm missing something pretty basic about this game. If they can just, anytime they want to, break the tiebreaker? Because why would Martell help Dorn? Or why would Martell help Tyos Terrell? It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so literally it's not just the plus one. They will always win ties. Well, I wish I'd known that beforehand, but... I can't really blame anyone but myself for not paying closer attention to that. That's probably us done for. Our siege engine was a very expensive 
um, was a very expensive proposition. Man, that's some bullshit. And I wasted a really good card on that, too. Oh, well. I've got a bunch of power. And I do get to muster again, so that's at least something nice. But we have to deal with the wildling attack. And if I don't contribute a lot... There we go. And I get my power back. Brilliant. I already knew that, of course, but it's nice to know that it does work that way. All right. Uh, Heron Hall, give me a footman. Lannisport, give me... A knight and a footman. River Run, give me a knight and a ship. Uh, we all collect a bunch of power and we cannot play support orders. That's fine. All right, orders. Uh, you're going to be a minus one move. You're going to be a plus zero move. Or do I go after Blackwater? They can't play support orders, right? So if I take Blackwater, I can then move on the reach. And Sea Road Marches could very well be taken by them. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to say, you're going to be my movement order. Uh, you're going to defend, just in case they get... Oh, shit, no, they can just move into Stony Sept. Uh, hey, ships. Fuck. I can't attack this turn. Because I don't want to lose Stony Sept, and that's exactly what would happen unless I get lucky and House Martell attacks the Sea Road Marches, which I don't think that they will. Um, fuck. I think River Run's got to be my move order, and I'm going to empty out River Run and move into Stony Sept so we can get into position for next turn. Uh, you're going to consolidate. You've got two horses. I have two knights and a footman. I will go in and put in a defense order, but I genuinely don't think you're going to attack me. Yeah, right now Martell and Stark are winning. Um, really? That wasn't very nice. A lot of people raided this turn. Where the fuck are you going? Okay, that was random. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this order. And I will happily spend one power so that I keep River Run. Oh no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Because if, if there's nobody there I think Baratheons can betray me without causing any issues. So actually, you go back where you were. And I'll just move you up. I don't attempt the Baratheons into betraying me.
Oh, very nice. That was a, a big victory for Baratheon. You abandoned the Reach, which is actually really smart. Um... I think the Tyrells were very smart to use their ability for that. All right, uh, we're gonna go one. Oh, poop, I didn't realize that was there. I do not wanna betray the Starks. And I guess I'll just do nothing. Damn it, Starks. Oh well. That was a completely idiotic move, but without knowing that the Starks were going to stay there, I guess that was, yeah. Okay, that's actually bad. If if we recon reconcile our armies... Oh, you must pick everybody mustard. Nice. Um, Alright, so we're going to do a siege engine upgrade. Siege engine upgrade. Skip mustering. And then put a floatman there. And I can't place another one there. I need more supply. I need to take Blackwater, essentially. Um, so I'll just go ahead and skip there. Nothing happens. And we cannot use Consolidate Power. Fair. All right. Um, this has to be a big turn for us if we have any hope of making a play. So we're going to march out of Harrenhal. You're going to go support. I'm going to go minus one move with you. But I'm going to base that entirely on what happens in Blackwater. Oh, uh, you're going to raid. And you're going to defend. And I'm going to raid your raid, which will stop you from using, stop me from that support order, which I think was your goal. We're really being hurt right now by not having any of the special orders. Um, but we're going to have to come up with a strategic play to try to take a castle, number one, but also try to knock the Tyrells down a peg. So the Greyjoys are going to attack the Starks. And again, because of the Iron, the Valyrian Sword, they control who won that. All right. Um, 
That's a plus one move. And these have no orders right now. Uh, how many cards does Tyrell have left? They just have a two. Which doesn't do me any favors, actually. And I'm not attacking a castle or a stronghold. Um... And because these guys raided instead of supporting, I would lose this fight too. Mm, 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 mm. They could push me out of Stony Sept, and there's very little I can do to stop that. Oh, I'm gonna move a knight over. I think that works. Oh, you're right, I don't, because then I can only have one level three army, can't I? These guys aren't moving, though. So you know what? There we go. That is legal. For now. Uh, who would like to make a pack? Oh, Tyrell wanted my support against the Blackwater. I didn't even see that. Um, I could betray the Baratheons, and I'd win too. I would take Cracklaw Point. Oh. Oh, game. I don't love it as a move, but if I... The, here's my problem. They've got just strong enough at defense that I can't attack them. And if I don't attack somebody somewhere, I'm going to fall behind. And there's only so many turns left in the game. I'm going to backstab the Baratheons and see if this works out to my advantage. We're going to try it. I don't have a lot of faith, but I have some. Uh, please do. Fuck. Come on, Sir Jamie. No! Damn it! I rolled the dice, and I lost my siege engine as a result. And now I've left Hall wide open for the Baratheons. Damn it.
Oh my gosh, I think we're screwed, my friends. I don't think that there's a way we can come back from this without just the easiest and best card draw in human history, which would be, we could really use a muster right now. But I'm also way oversupplied. If someone really wanted to screw me over, all they would have to do is do exactly that. Yep. I mean, I can take the Blackwater next turn for what that for what good that does me. Please don't ask to resupply. Okay, they chose mustering again, which isn't hugely valuable to me, uh, if I'm honest with you. And we play a footman. And let's upgrade that footman to a knight. Upgrade to a siege engine so I can take Heron Hall. Oh, great. The Greyjoys and the Starks made a pact. The Greyjoys are going to fuck me. And there are no defense orders. Um, right. Like, I don't want the black water wide open. Fuck it. I've got to try it. Uh, support. And support. Now, by playing my last card, did I reshuffle my hand? I think I did. So here's what I've got to do. I've got to rush the black water. Um, I honestly might try to see if the Baratheons will go for a new pact with me. They probably won't. But hey, the worst. Well, what's the worst that could happen, right? They just tell me to go screw myself. Um, didn't you literally just make a pact? All right. Um, they rejected me. You know what? That is totally fair game. Uh, Martel? Okay, perfect. That I like. Uh, that takes one of my concerns away. Um... I've resupplied my I've regained my supply. And Heron Hall is super isolated. I'm not convinced I'll win, but I'm convinced I have to try. Cuz retaking Heron Hall puts me in a much better position.
I have no clue what Martell is even doing these days. Now, which cards do I have? I have all of them but Jamie? Okay. Please. Uh, who does Tyrell have in their hand? Only a two. So I want something with lots of casualties. I really don't want to waste Gregor Clegane, but maybe I do. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pretty pissed at the Tyrells. Let's murder them. There we go. Now you have all of your cards again, uh, which is not ideal. What does your four do again? Oh, you just get to destroy one of my footmen. I'm going to play Tywin. Oh, that stupid Valyrian sword. I'm so sick of you having it. I'm so sick of that. Uh, you can retreat to Stony Sept. I'm so tired of not being able to bid and retake some of this shit. Because it's ridiculous. And now the Starks have basically boxed me in again. Thank you, jerks. And here's my biggest concern. At some point, I'm going to have to reconcile. And I can't have this army that I do right now. I'm way oversupplied. And kicking out of Blackwater was a kick in the balls. Um. Oh. I'm going to decline. I had to. I hope you both understand. All right, so the Wildlings have attacked again. I'm going to bid five. All right, it's time to bid. Um, I will bid zero because I don't particularly care about this one. I don't mind Martell being more powerful. I need to bid more than the Tyrells. That's all I care about. And I'm still going to get screwed out of the special orders. I mean, I'll bid one, but it's not. I'm not even going to bid anything because it's the Starks to lose. I just gotta hope that somebody feels bad for me and gives me some special orders, like the Martells might want to be nice to me. Nope. And the Wildlings just attacked again, and I have no power left. And we were defeated. I have to destroy three units. There we go.
And I was the lowest bidder because I bid nothing because I had nothing left. I spent all of my power and got nothing out of it. That's some bullshit right there. But I have no one to blame but myself. I was badly outplayed there. And I spent way too much power trying to get the iron, the Valyrian sword. When I should have saved it for the messenger raven. Alright. Um. I don't know what to do at this point. I think I'm screwed no matter what. Um. I'm just going to ignore it. Here's the thing, though. It would be criminally easy for them to simply say, I'm going to support from the Reach, and I can't top that. So I'm going to make... Here's the thing. If I help Martel here, I basically get nothing... I've got to go for Clark Crackclaw Point. I think that's the only option available to me right now. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say accept. Oh, that gave me the pack with Tyrell. Okay. Give me a movement order. Um... Give me a minus one movement. Give me a support. And give me a support. Like, I think Martel's pretty much indestructible. Is that the seven they need? No, it's not. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just move a knight into Heron Hall and I'll retake it. I'm not worried about that. Who the Baratheons have left? Only a couple of ones. Wait, what? Oh, fucking Shipbreaker Bay. Okay. I don't have any footmen. I want to play Tyrion Lannister. And then who else do you have, House Baratheon? It doesn't actually matter unless the Baratheons know I'm actually higher on the track. So I'm going to say no. Fuck. Oh, the Greyjoys don't even count as betraying me there. 
I forgot about that. If you abandon a place and don't use your power to keep it. Damn it. the Greyjoys have any good cards left? No. And I lost fucking Harrenhal. You know what, Greyjoys? You guys are dicks. I am just in really terrible shape. Um, and this idea that we haven't had... Uh, I don't know what you're going to do, but you could... You screwed me. That makes sense. I have no power, so I'm going to get left out in the fucking cold again. Um... And the Starks basically get whatever they want. Really, nobody bid. Oh, I got special orders again. That was nice. Are you shitting me? Man, that's some that's a bullshit play. That really frustrates me. Because if I drop to one, all I get is one, two, and one, three. So I lose my entire fleet because the game used power to fuck me. Um, I mean, I'm going to be better than the Greyjoys, but that's not saying a lot. Um, I definitely need black water back. I can't afford not to have it. But I also really need Harrenhal. Alright, so here's, here's my plan. 
I'm gonna do a plus one move into Heron Hall. Because I can never lose Lannis Port because it's my capital. So I'm gonna do a minus one move there. And a zero move there. Crack up crack claw point. I want you to defend. And you I want to support. So I'll give you a plus one support order. I mean, this is the last turn of the game, so it's not like it's going to hurt me a massive amount if I do stab people in the back. All right. Um... Let me go ahead and send I'm gonna send you to Heron Hall. No, that actually block that actually cuts blocks me in, doesn't it? If I do that. That blocks me in. Uh, don't do that, please. All right, I'm gonna start with this order. I'm gonna tell you to move to River Run. Oh, because of my stupid supply situation, you won't let me have a stack of two. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, fine. So how do I play this? How do I get a stack of three Like, I guess I just attack Heron Hall from here, but then that leaves me, cuts me out of Blackwater. But Heron Hall is more valuable. Um, it just is. Because it's a castle. And it's not like it's going to matter if I, lose, if I don't take, retake Blackwater. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... That... I'm going to send Stony Sept against her and all. One is fine. You have a plus three. I have a... Not that much. Okay, the Starks here aren't moving. I don't know what they're doing, but it's not moving. So then I can do this. What the fuck? Oh my god. No, game. I thought... Oh, I hate this sometimes. That was a misclick. And I'm in the worst possible situation now. Because if I backstab the assholes in Tyrell, uh, they're going to get... They're going to have an easy path to take River Run. Which can't even defend. Um, that's some bullshit, but okay. I'm gonna lose Stony Sept, and frankly, I don't care. Um. I have one last play I could have made, which would be... Oh, well. Uh, I'll just play the Hound, just to make sure that I win.
If they end up with a black water, they're welcome to it. It's not a castle. If I had played this right, there was actually a tiny sliver of a chance that I could have won. Oh, if the Baratheons take a castle from the Starks. That means the Starks now have four castles. We now have three players. We have four players that have four castles. Um, I don't think there's a way I can take another castle, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, I don't even care. Because there's nowhere I can go to take a castle, which is the only thing that would break the tie. Actually, there is one thing I could do. I could go to Stony Sept. Which at least make sure that I have that. And Martell won, because I had the most land. You know what? Fair play to them. Um, I made a couple of really stupid moves. And I think hoarding all that power and then blowing it in the dumbest possible way really hurt me. But anyway, that was the Game of Thrones, the board game. If you guys want to see more, do drop a comment down below. Uh, but until next time, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and please join me for more Churchill next week.